I don't know how well you're gonna pick me up, so I'm just gonna yell. This is an unboxing and test of a new solar panel. Yes, I did receive it for free, but it's my first briefcase solar panel, and more importantly, it's my second solar panel that's more than 100 watts. It's 200 watts. And we're gonna unbox it and charge up a solar generator today and charge up some batteries to go have a little bit of fun. We want to play with our little RC car. All right, high quality portable solar module, PLK 2X 100 watt, 20 amp. It has a smart 20 amp controller in it. So this is exciting. I can't wait to play with this, show this off to you guys. This could very well be my fanciest solar panel if the freaking wind would just calm down. All right, I'm not quite sure how this opens. I mean, it's pretty obvious. It's got some tape. Oh my gosh, this wind is incredible. It's strong. That's awesome. All right, box is empty. All right, solar panel. It's in a nice protective sleeve. It zips up. It's even got a pocket back here in the very back. And that's where your extra cables are hiding. And it's got lots of cables. Okay, ones I'm not familiar with. And we got a fuse in the middle of it. Looks like a freaking car battery jumper thing. <laughs> All right, we're gonna put those right back in there. It's neat that it has storage in this thing. Oh, this is sick. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. So this opens up. Oh, oh the wind, oh, the wind. All right, taking a look here, it looks like there's a little bit of damage from shipping. It's like, this is nice and even and flush. And then right here, it's like pushed in and there's some damage there. Hopefully it works fine. But on the back, we have our MC4. We got our little legs, they clip into place, and they come out. All right, make sure you can see that. Yes, sir. So it's very small compared to what I'm used to, meaning I'm used to having like a really long thing. This is simple. It's just two parts that fold together to make one. All right, looks like I gotta go home and get some MC4 because it comes uh, with MC4, but I need to extend them. I don't think, yeah, that's too short. There's no way it's gonna reach my, uh, let me pack this stuff up. Look how simple this is gonna be. It just folds together like this. Man, that is freaking, that's awesome. All right, so now we have our MC4 to XT60 that we need for our specific scenario. So we're just gonna open this up, flip out these little legs right here. All right, that couldn't be more simple. So we're just gonna connect these MC4 to XC60 in the back. All right, now we're gonna connect up our solar power station here. It's currently at 100%, so it's not gonna charge. But we're gonna fix that. We wanna play with our little RC car, so. We wanna play with our little RC car. We want to play with our little RC car. The body's seen better days. But first, we got to charge the batteries that are in it. It's got two batteries. It takes a lot of power to charge, a lot of power of out, but let's fix that since we have solar power and a solar generator. All right. So in this crunched up body or under it, we've got these two big batteries inside our little truck. So we got the two batteries right there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect them to our charger and we're gonna plug in the charger, turn on the AC output, and we're gonna hold down these two buttons. Hey, we're getting 150 watts right now from the sun. I'm having issues with this battery I just got a couple days ago. Damn. There we go. All right, hold down the button. That's not cool at all. Luckily I bought it from my local hobby shop and I got my receipt, so I'll just exchange it for a new one. Let me bring you down. All right, 
Dang, I don't think you're gonna be able to see it. It says we're putting out 231 and we're receiving 100. With this wind, I'm not sure how well you're gonna hear me, but here's the phone app. It's showing that we're outputting 232 watts to charge up both of these batteries down here. And we're inputting 120 watts from the sun. Now, I did see it at 157 earlier without perfect conditions. And let me move the panel. Yeah, 111 watts, 114 watts. The sun's not like it was a moment ago. And if you could see above the clouds, yeah, let me uh, see. If... So hopefully that's not blinding you, but we got clouds completely covering the sun right now. And it's been that way since I started filming this section of the video. But that's the cool thing so far is, you know, even with mostly shade, we're getting 50 watts of solar. And now the clouds are kind of leaving and ah, oh, they're coming. This is, this is not a perfect day for this, but it's my day off and I work the rest of the week. So uh, today's my really my only day to do this and the sun and the wind just aren't cooperating. All right, so now we have the phone connected to the EcoFlow via Bluetooth and I'm recording my screen so that you can get a better picture of what's going on. The clouds are currently covering the sun, so I'm not getting much input, but we're still charging the solar generator while it's charging our batteries at 230 watts. So we're taking away 230 watts, but we're replacing about 100 watts on average. So with our current input and output, we're looking at about four hours of runtime. But the cool thing is, in about an hour, the RC batteries will be fully charged, and then they're gonna last about an hour in the truck. So then the EcoFlow can charge at its full speed with solar during that time. Traxxas makes a Bluetooth app where you can monitor the charge status of the batteries. You can monitor how much power is going into the batteries and how much time is left. It says we are currently charging each battery at 13 amps, so about 26 amps altogether. So in about one hour, this will be done and I'll get to play with the truck. Alrighty, this is where I'm gonna start wrapping things up. I'm going to pack up and head back inside because it's starting to sprinkle. This thing is definitely not rated for getting water on it. That's not going to be good for it. Oh, look, there we go. There's the sun right as I'm about to leave. 124 watts. Okay, son, you can fully show yourself now. On top of the wind, literally blowing freaking everything away. It's trying to blow the solar panel away. It's trying to blow me away. It's just not a cooperating day. 133 watts. That's about what we're going to see for now. You can get this model with the charge controller. Mine did not come with it. It has a digital screen and it tells you how many volts and amps and just the status of the solar panel, which is pretty friggin' awesome. And that's definitely nerdy information that I love seeing. I want to thank you very much for watching this video. Some of the parts I felt it was necessary to do a voiceover because the wind was so strong. And hopefully it made the video a little bit more bearable to watch and hear. If you're new to the channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. I'd greatly appreciate it. It's a small favor to ask for, but it goes a long way, and it helps the YouTube algorithm. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you're not doing so already. This is What Would Josh Do, and I'm out.